the figure shows a pouring arrangement of a casting of a metal block the frictional losses are negligible the acceleration due to gravity is given as 9.81 meter per second square the time to fill the mold cavity no we need to find out this one is dash now the size of the mold cavity is given here so mold cavity dimension is given so mold cavity is 40 cm into 30 cm into 15 cm now uh, no filling time is asked in the question so we have got a standard formula of filling time that is equal to volume of the molten cavity divided by a into v where a is the area of cross section and v is the velocity through the sprue basically no this sprue now we know that the volume of the cavity is already given that is 40 into 30 into 15 and area of cross section is also given because it is mentioned here in the diagram itself diameter is 2 so we can get the area of cross section now we need to find out the velocity now let us try to find uh, no uh, like use the given datas in the question now here we have got three sections point number 1 is given point number 2 is given and point number 3 is given we can see so point number 2 only diameter is given and no other data are given hence we will not be able to use point number 2 but if you see point number 1 atmospheric pressure is given we can use this data and point number 3 again it is open to atmosphere so data is given hence we can use these two sections so we need to find out velocity and for velocity we will use bernoulli equation for point number 1 and point number 3 so If we write Bernoulli equation, equation between point number one or let's say section one and section three, the general uh, no standard uh, formula for Bernoulli equation is that P by rho z plus v square by two G plus Z is equal to constant. So if we use this Bernoulli equation for section one and section three, so we can rewrite this particular expression as P one by rho G plus V one square by two G plus Z one will be equal to P three by rho G plus V three square by two G. Plus Z three. Now let us try to extract some data from the given diagram. See point number one. It is given atmospheric pressure. So for this one, we can write here that P one is nothing but P atmospheric. That is atmospheric pressure. Similarly, if we see section three, here it is again open to atmosphere. Hence we can write P three as P atmosphere. Now if we see section one. here what happens so basically the molten metal is poured and it remains here for some time and then gradually it flows through section 2 and then through the uh, mold cavity so uh, basically practically if we see you no know, point number 1 the velocity is actually zero hence we can take this data that velocity at point number 1 is equal to zero we will try to use this one in our bernoulli equation now see p1 is p atmospheric and p3 is p atmospheric so p1 by rho g And P3 by rho g can be cancelled out. Now, from the given uh, data, as V1 is equal to zero, so again this part becomes zero. So, what is the remaining part? Z1, uh, V3 by 2g, and Z3. Now, out of one and three, if we take Z3 as datum, if we take Z3 as datum, then again Z3 becomes zero. And Z1 is nothing but 20 cm which is given in the question so this is 20 cm hence if we uh, simplify it so we can write here that b3 is equal to root over of 2 g z1 now see we can see from the question 
the Z1 is given as 20 centimeter. So just for simplification, we can write G also in terms of centimeter. So G is nothing but 9.81 meter per second square. So we convert this meter into centimeter. It becomes 981 centimeter per second square. So by putting the values here, 2 into 981 into 20. So the value comes to be 198.09. 198.09 which will be centimeter per second. Now if we, uh, no, so we have got V3. So just by putting this V3 in this particular equation, let's say this particular equation is A, we will get an answer. So what is filling time? Tf is nothing but volume of the molding, mold cavity which is equal to 40. Again it is given in centimeter into 30 into 15 by area of cross section. So this area of cross section is nothing but given as 2 centimeter. So area it is circular in nature. So it is pi by 4 into d square. So d is 2. So it becomes square into velocity. So velocity is given as 198.09 centimeter per second which we found out you know, in the last expression. So if we calculate this one, we get the answer to be 28.92 seconds. So 28.92 seconds. So this is our correct answer. Thank you.